The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. This is Tuesday, the 9th of January, and we're looking at the Dow down almost 300 points at 37,389. I forgot to put it into this particular chart, but basically what we're looking at is there's a Chapman Way falling axe formation in the Dow daily chart. So let me just show you what that is. The implication is, whoops, implication is... That the price goes up to uh, usually something like a D, E, or F. Straight, it goes up, 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 and then it stalls. And then it starts to make lower highs and much lower lows. And then you get a kind of a cup formation. And the cup formation says if it takes out this, uh, the higher declining trend line, it could actually go back to the previous high. Well, we're right on the cusp. Look here. We did that, and now look how much we've pulled back given back a huge chunk of that candle. So one of the reasons that I've uh, we remain short the Dow is because I, uh, within the context of patterns, the August high, August the first high we've been short, and the uh, high that we, we have just made a few days ago, um, it, there are so many similarities. The only dissimilarity is that the on balance volume kept going higher. That makes me a little nervous because it means that if the on balance volume, which is overbought, starts to pull back, it could drag the market down. Let me just check here to see. Uh, right off the bat, we have Charlie in Washington. Charlie, how are you? Good. How are you, sir? I am fine. Are you Washington, D.C. or Washington State? No, I'm in Boston. Charlie in Boston. Boston, I was going to say, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a very interesting thing to say. Well, Al doesn't usually get names like that incorrect, but I've got him down here in Washington. So, Al, um, we've got a, a couple of, I don't know whether it would have been Washington, D.C. or Washington State, but we've got either a couple of hundred miles or a couple of thousand miles away. Charlie, you wanted to look at IFN? That's correct. The India fund, I bought that. A year ago, where is this going now? Wow. So we're talking about India. Uh, I had this all notated. There's another India stock. I believe it's INDA. Let me just check that because I know I did it in great detail the other day. Yes, there it is. That has just made a peak. E. Let me just check. And it made a cup formation. I wonder if they're very similar because sometimes they make up the, um, the uh, basically they take a proxy for the index, and they make up an ETF. So let me go. So this is INDA, ISHA, this is the iShares India ETF, making a cup formation in the monthly chart, the peak A, F slash A, it looks like an A in the weekly, and a peak E in the daily. Now let's go to INF. And I do remember this one very well from ages ago. Haven't done it for a while, so here we go, INF. Okay, so just tell me again. Are you? Uh, are you? What are you looking at? Oh, I'm long this, but I bought it at fifteen seventy. I'm up nicely, but where's it going from here? Okay, all right. So no, these are very, very different charts. So this is so interesting. This is called the India Fund Inc. Um, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember when I last did this one. Anything that moves. I've probably notated in the chat wave at some point, but sometimes I'll lose that information only because it's there in in a file somewhere. But if I have to shut down prematurely, um, sometimes I'll lose that at the current level. So you've got it in the 15s. So I the, let me just finish the monthly before I do anything else. So that monthly has gone to peak A. Uh, sorry, the weekly has gone to peak A. B, yes, it did go to a D. P, so, oh, wait a minute. It's within pennies. So that on the week of the 21st of July goes to 17.59 and 17.61. Yep, it did squeak on the 20, week of the 29th of September. So that has already gone to a D. 
funny, one of my tennis partners just a few days ago, um, originally from India, been here for decades, um, just went back to see his family on Friday. So, um, you know, I I don't see any reason why I don't I can't consider the weekly chart as in a new leg C to the upside. I like what I'm seeing. I think that the, the daily chart, I'm going to get to that in a moment. Hope you just have a little patience with me. There it is. Okay. So monthly chart is going to leg B. The daily, the weekly chart is in a C. And now I need to just notate this. Take me a moment. Find the lowest low. Count each successively higher peak. This is a parallel. Ooh, I'm going to call that the phantom peak. Uh, 1728, 1729. Uh, no, I'm not going to. So I'll give this a, okay, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to C, D, phantom peak. And it goes to, okay. I like what I'm seeing. I think that um, the way you entered it, you've got quite a bit of a cushion. I suspect that given, let me just check this, it was at 1750 and 1750. So A, B, C, D. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit uh, strict on this one, and I'm going to say that is top. That's a new rally. I like what I'm seeing. I um, mm, Let me just get this right. The reason why this one's taking me just a tad longer than normal to uh, do is I want to be fairly strict in the count. So I'm going to consider that this is at a, a leg D, making a peak D possibly today in the daily chart. I kind of like what I'm seeing. The MACD is good. The stochastic was MACD is not as good as it was before, but it is still good. The um, nine period moving average is way over the 14. The stochastic's 89%. So this is what I would recommend. I, I'm anticipating quite a choppy period, and we've already seen that over the last couple of days in the general market. Uh, from the chart that I'm looking at, in a sense, the India chart is almost in its own trajectory. It has different, um, the, the notation that I have plus the use of the nine period moving average, the uh, MACD, the stochastic, the unbalanced volume, that, that shows we're just a little bit overbought and you can get the pullback, which we're getting today. I like it. I would say to you, give me a call if it closes under 18. It's at 1848 in the next couple of days. Why? Because I want to check out how the technicals are fed. If the nine period, if it goes underneath the nine period moving average, which means the green goes under the 40 period moving average. Uh, I don't think it can do that unless it gets to 18.10 or 18 dollars, and that's where I need to do a reassessment. As it stands right now, I think you're in a very good uh, position, and within the context of what I'm looking at, 18.20 is the 200 period exponential moving average, and the way it broke out, if you look at, it hasn't touched that 90 moving average for months and months. Now, you've got four, four weeks of hit touching that. So 1820 is good support. I like it, I would just hold it. And can you hold on a second? There's one other thing I want you to look at, and then we'll sure. be back, is that okay? Yep, we'll be right back with Charlie in Boston. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, folks, we're back, and uh, the Dow has come back a little bit. It's down down 224. S&P's come back a little bit. It's down 17, come back, meaning come back up again. Um, and we're on with Charlie in Boston. So, Charlie, this is a really a very interesting aspect because I looked it up, and it has this whole thing, but it's it's outdated. It talks about the Adani affair, and the Adani affair is the one that involved the um, IND Y and the IND A. So, in a sense, the uh, one that you chose in the IFN is certainly the best of uh, uh, out of the two. It's doing very nicely. So I, what I wanted to uh, check on, well, I just wanted to read up to see if I'd missed something. And I, it's kind of tough. I haven't got anything. It's, this is outdated, outdated news in the market. Even if it's a day old, let alone a year old, is kind of uh, tough to assess. So I'm just looking at the chart. The chart says this is doing very well. It's in a. It's making higher highs and higher lows. That's simply a buy mode. That's a very simple th way to look at it. And the weekly chart, it could be an alternate count. I don't see any reason at this particular point, unless we get down to 17.80 by the end of next week. But at this particular point, I like it very much. Um, it's holding very well. And um, the, were you looking at it as short term or, or intermediate term? It sounds like you were getting in, but you were thinking more intermediate term, or am I wrong? No, no long term for us, 9% dividend yield. So that's something that they talk about, yeah, about the dividend. And uh, I, you know, it's, it would be remiss of me to say um, anything about the dividend since I really don't know about it. But from the price action of the ETF, the dividend looks to me like it is secure at this point. Whether they can uh, shrink it or expand it, that's something separate. But just based on the price of the of the the, the, the price movement I'm looking at, certainly in the weekly chart, the monthly needs a little bit of work. But the nine period moving average, yes, on last month in December turned positive and is positive again now. So all I can say is I think you're on the right track. Um, but as I say, if it, if it slides under 18, I'd like to look at it again just because of other factors. And it might, I don't know if we're, because you've got it as a dividend, I would mess around at all because even if you're taking a little bit off for safety, um, the dividend is something else. So um, I'm looking at it right now as holding very well. 
at any point in the next six or seven trading days. If it does slide under 18, just give me a yell and we'll have a look at it, okay? Okay, Tom. Thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure, and thank you for calling. Uh, so, folks, I just wanted to go through a couple of things here as it's, as it's come to me um, from questions that were asked. Now, I'm unfortunately, I can't see the Tiger YouTube. I also have a little problem with some of my uh, the Internet uh, in terms of my uh, emails. So I'm a little behind there. Later in the day, I'll have everything corrected. But right at this point, I'm saying just be yeah, for me. I'm just having to do a little things, uh, something blindly. Uh, because I cannot see um, questions that would normally be in the email or on the Tiger YouTube, but I can't see the Dan. FIS is the next question. FIS is um, Fidelity National Information trading at uh, 63.34 down a penny. So I like this. I think we, we looked at it recently, and I, A, this is like an A, that's an A, that's a B. Um, I'm going to be a little cautious just to say that I've got an alternate count in the daily chart. Uh, the on balance volume is a little bit overbought. The price is doing very nicely. I, I'm going to call it a D just for now. I'm calling it a D just to be a little bit cautious, but it's a B in the weekly chart, and the B has gone above the previous high. If you think of this as one big candle, this is the weekly chart. Uh, technically, technically, it's going to a B, but if you think of it as an engulfing candle of all the price movement from um, late March, early April, the low there that was around about 48, and the high that was at about 62, the most recent high was in the at 47, 46 or 47, and here we are at 63. <clears throat> Very good action. Look at the monthly chart. It's only a leg A. It is a horrible monthly chart. The weekly chart is starting to improve, and it's gone above the arch high. I like it very much. And a new position for me, your thoughts. I would, on a purely technical basis, I would, I would think of it this way. If you want a new position because you've got a position already, I would think if you hadn't got that position, I'd, I'd be a little bit remiss in doing this. But because you already have a position, I'm going to say I would do a split position right now. And I'd do one third of the, of the new split. And it's not a big position. It's a smallish position. One third. And the other two thirds, I'd have patience just to wait for 61.50. Oops, is that? Yeah, 61.50. And just have patience. So a little, a little bit, uh, a, an entry to add to your position. You, but you're adding it at highs. That means the cost, your cost basis is now going to be uh, different to what it was before. But it's only a split position, with a small now and a little bit more on a pullback to 61. That's about 61.50 is about two points lower. And if you don't get that split, uh, the, the extra split, that's fine. It'll be, be, it'll be just added to your position. I wouldn't get too carried away. And the only reason is that uh, within the context, I just wanted to, so this is for the national information. Oh, I just, I need to do this. Here we go, one second. Uh, back, back, back. So this is going to be, there you are. Uh, fidelity. National Info does, and it tells me, uh, including in in depth in, in so including the latest price to in what um, what is oh who owns wait why aren't they telling you what does it do? Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I why it doesn't tell me what it does I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't see what it does. It says information, but it just gives me a whole bunch of stuff. All right, I don't know what it does. Um, Timonos. Yeah, it doesn't help me either. So, <laughs> um, that's information spin off, national information. What is the symbol? What is the future price? Who owns Fisk Global? Ay, ay, ay. It just doesn't tell me what it does. 
information. I don't know what it does. So I, I don't know what it does, but from the chart itself, I'm not going to change anything that I just said. Um, I, I, want to, I thought I could put into the financials, but this might be a platform for something. Um, best friend works for Fizz, hasn't been back in the office since COVID. Uh, should buy, oh, should buy t uh, Timonos. Well, everybody seems to know what it does, except me. So I, I've seen it before. I've had it. I had it all notated, but I can't remember what it does. So uh, what does it do? All right. Oh, we've got a little break coming up. I'll find out what it does. Why? Because the monthly chart is horrible. Weekly chart is improving, and a daily chart says this is in a leadership position for the from the rally from November, from the October 27th low. All right. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, FIS, which is uh, Fidelity National Information, it's a payment services, credit, debit card processing. Uh, that information part of it fooled me a little bit, but I, I I had it all notated, and I do remember that it was in that whole. I don't know if they are close to in relationship to like a PayPal, which is having a had a nice bounce, but is a much different chart pattern. So I had something else in the. Uh, uh, this is a new holdings and new holding limited Cayman Islands digital financial services platform. And there was a question about it, 
And I said that it's in a leg D in the monthly. This was an IPO back in 2022, I believe, ran up to 12 and then slumped down to the threes. And it's now um, trading at 884 down six cents. So the monthly chart on the right is in leg D. The weekly chart on the left, oh, oh yes, is in leg D, I think by a few cents. The high that was made back the week of the 17th of November of 887 has been taken out um, yesterday at 890. And today it's trading down five cents at 884. Um, and if you're looking at the, look, this rectangle that has a pattern that says it's making higher highs to higher lows, you know my rule of thumb, I've got webinars, if you're, if you're subscribers, you know you've been to my webinars, you can become a subscriber, you can even come and become a subscriber just to go to my myriad of webinars, and then you could, 28 days later, you could say, yeah, I'm done, I'm out of here. Uh, but look. That rectangle formation is that everything we talk about within a rectangle makes this flagpole higher to peak D. Pulls back sharply and immediately starts higher highs and higher lows. And basically what it does, the rule of thumb is that it should go to just under, right on or just above the previous high at a peak D. It, can, it could fail, not do that, but many times it goes to a D. And then you've got to be careful if it takes out halfway into that rectangle which would be at about 550. Oh, did I say five? It shouldn't be five. It should be eight. Right there. 839, 840. If it closes under 840 at any point in January, that's a real problem. But it's done so well. Very nice. So that's in the context of almost the same thing where I, I would say, yep, it's a little toppy. Maybe start a position. If you haven't got one, you can nibble here and then you want to have that 840 as a 850 area as some kind of security. So I would just start a position here. You might have to add higher. I would say just get your position, get your foot in the door. I would have a stop at this point. It's at 870, 884. I definitely have to have a stop in it. I'd, for the moment, I'd have it quite wide. I'd have it around 830 just to give me room to breathe <clears throat> and then see what happens where you want to add. to. It. That's the only way I would do it. Uh, another question came in. Could I look at APP? APP is, uh, if I can actually, oh, a, a Plovin a Corporation. This one came up on my streamer list a long time ago. I remember this back in uh, 2023. And then I it just, I forgot about it. And look what happens at a 200 period moving average. You remember the lowercase h that goes to lowercase m? Well, you can get a U that goes to a W, and that's exactly what it's done. So it's pulled back um, a little bit from, from this 200 period moving average, but it's also the 200 period moving average is like a magnet, which is at 42.77. So what I would draw in is, the, remember, the, uh, actually, I should show you this pattern. I'll, I'll draw it and then I'll show you. So here's your first U, little cup formation. Here's your second U, cup formation. Oh, come on there. Okay, there it is. And what's very important about this, the number of bars in the interim is a lot shorter than it was before, fewer that is. And the pullback so far is has got this rising trend line, which is kind of important just for the moment. Look right there it is. So I like what I'm seeing. Now, would I buy this? Would I start the position with the anticipation of thinking, hmm, going back to the 44s? I. So the question is, so hello, Basil, if you have a moment, can you please look at APP? It's in a high base. It's a company, the company has wonderful earnings. Hope all is well in Newton. <laughs> Get close to a foot of snow in Andover. No, we, we've got like three inches. It wasn't too bad at all. Um, I, let, me, so let me just do this here. Um, since I a plovin. I remember when I wrote this, I thought, hmm, it's an interesting name. I mean, how am I going to ever remember this? It's like a, a, pl a plovin, a proven. I don't know. I've just never seen that before. So expand your audience, grow your revenue. Proprietary tech and software solutions optimize app monetization. Wow, they all say that. 
Um, but if they're having good earnings, you can see that it's holding well in, under these conditions. But it is really whippy over the past two, three months. It's just been in this range. It's just a, it's a vicious range. If you can get the bottom of the ah, good. So what I'm going to suggest is this. If you're in it, then I would just, I don't know where you're in. But if you're in lower down than the whole consolidation, let's say you're in under 30. I just hold it. I wouldn't be bothered at all. At this particular point, um, what I would say is the next rally over 40.57, just got to get into the 40s. I'd say, who? hey, maybe it's going back to that upper level of 42.77, the 200 period moving average. But if it starts to pull back under 37, I'm talking short term, under 30, um, yeah, 37, because the low was 37.40. If it goes under 37, this low right here of the 12th of de uh, December of 20, uh, 35.70, mm, that looks like it's going to be hit. And it looks like it could even be taken out. So, yes, it could be having, but the market isn't responding as if it's one of the um, one of the stocks that are spiraling higher because of great earnings. But I am going to say, um, as if you're asking me, should I get in as a new position? I'd have a tough time saying anything but a little nibble here. And even then, I'd have a one-point stop. It's just a very tight stop. Um, it needs to prove itself. And so far, it's not really proving itself to show that. Look how quickly it moves off the low. Once it starts to, yes, it did have a, a little cluster formation back in early, late October, early November before it took off. But um, it's not bad action. I just don't see anything yet based on my technicals to say, Whew, this could really scream to the upside. I don't see that yet. If by today's Tuesday, if by Thursday is trading at, as I say, 37.50s, then I, I'd say that's nice action. Uh, but as an overall thing, it's holding very well in the weekly chart, and the monthly has gone to a leg C, a peak C, I should say, and it's improving technically. So yes, it's improving technically, but I'm I, I don't see anything right now to get into it. Okay, next thing we had is, and as I said, I can't see the YouTube, can't see my emails because I'm not getting them. I wonder what happened. It just suddenly shut off. All right, um, this is what I'm looking at here. I need to go to the SMHs. The SMHs, this is the Vanex Semiconductor ETF, trading is down 73 cents at 171.23. Was looking miserable in the 164s. What was that low? 163.97. 163, yeah, 163.97, uh, just uh, four sessions ago. And then it had a spectacular move. Yes, I need to talk about it. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. A question came in. Uh, Basil, about a refresh on AQST. Maybe you can watch a breakout live on your screen. Up about a dollar since that request on 11.21. I'm eyeing left side 6.25. AQST. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, Dan, this is what I'm looking at. If I use the plumb line technique, in other words, from the left side high down to the low, it looked to me like there was a chance that there could be a rally in the same same time frame, possibly back to the high that was made on the 4th of December of 267. So here's your doji candle low. This is what we call the plumb line. This is the midpoint right there. And this is called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Resistance Dash Green target resistance line is a particular place we take it from on the left side and that should go to the measurement of the number of bars on the left from that high of the 4th of December to the low of December the 21st and it should take an equal number of days bars that is it doesn't matter whether it's one minute chart or monthly chart it's the pattern and we should go towards this Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Repellent Line and get there on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sessions. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we took 11 sessions and we had another two to go right there. Um, and it's it's already taken it out. It went to 270 this morning. It's trading at 266. So when it gets there in a quicker time frame, it said, <clears throat> depending on the count, and in this case, because the starting point was right down here on the 25th of October with a little tiny doji candle at 1.36, that's that means. Even though it's gone pink and it's gone to a down arrow and all that, I've got to consider that there's an alternate count. I have no choice. That's the technique that I developed over the years to say that this is broken out. It's It was a gray B until it went above that E. Now it gets an F slash B. I can say all the technicals, stochastic at 89%, on balance volume a little overbought, MACD strong, not as strong as it was, it's at uh, 2.68, but very strong, nine period way over the 14 price, way over the nine, even at, at this particular point, Chapman Wave green Roman candle to the upside, and a leg C in the, in the monthly chart, here again, I could call this an alternate account. I, I don't see any reason why I should call it an alternate account here. It looks to me like a C in the day in the month weekly chart, and the monthly is a C, a quest of therapeutics Inc. biotech. So I like the action here very much. I'm, I'm, sus I, I'm suspecting it's a B, but I need to just be careful to say, hey, it didn't take out the low here uh, in December the 21st, didn't take out the low all the way back to October. So this could be an ongoing 
uh, count, E goes to an F. But the way it's moved, this is all looks like it's a brand new buy signal to buy mode. So it's very favorable. And I would say it would only be negated if it holds under $2.32 for about three sessions. And I say, hey, that's an alternate count. Now it has to start a brand new signal. Right now, acting really well. Congratulations. So you're looking towards the highs going all the way back to 2021 in the sixes. I, as, you, as I said before, I go one step at a time. Now, there's a pattern that you need to be aware of, and that is I join the lows right here, right there in the monthly chart. AQST, folks, is what we're looking at. I'll join those right there, and I'll do this right here. There's a chance, it is a biotech after all, <clears throat> that this makes a Chapman Wave falling ax uh, inverted falling axe formation with an arch. I just want to put that in to say, hey, just be a little careful. We haven't got yet to the upper level. So, and that is all the way in the, in the 3.80s. So go one step at a time. That's your resistance. 3.80 will be the next move. This isn't finished in the daily chart because the technicals are suggesting that there's still strength. Hey, congratulations. This is doing very well. I agree. If I had to do a time on the on the four dollars three eighty to four twenty level as the next step to the to the to the higher levels, I'd give it about another another arch kind of a this this remember this is also what I discussed the dreaded H pattern the lowercase H can become a really positive arch formation especially if it goes above the arch high which it did number of times that's the weekly chart and that just says <clears throat> that. Given the kind of time lapse, let's say it's getting shorter and shorter by February, February, end of February, beginning of March, we could be looking at the 380 to 4 level. It could happen much sooner. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying just the pattern that it's got, the cyclical swoops. That's what it's called, the cyclical swoops. Um, yeah. Uh, this this could absolutely, I don't disagree. If news pending, it's a biotech, anything can happen. Now, let's just get to the market. The question came in, uh, Basil, how can you compare what's going on now to August the first high? Oh, that's a very good question um, because the, the conditions are very, very much different. Uh, you remember we were having rising rates, etc. Then we had the declining rates. So let me just go back to this particular chart. So this is the chart of the Dow. This is the Dow daily. I've only used the on balance volume. That's the blue line right here. That's the high of August the first. There's a nine over the 14 period moving average, and then the nine under the 14 period moving average, and you can see that very much like we saw yesterday. In fact. If we hadn't had the DOG, that's a one-to-one -one short August the 1st, right at the top, we would have got stopped out on that big spike to the upside. So basically what happened is, look what, look at this. We make that high, and we make it with the unbalanced volume. What's different here, and this is something I discussed, I said the, the 9 is not quite the same as it was back on August the 1st. So I think there's going to be a different pattern that we've got to anticipate spikes to the upside, just like we saw from that August 3rd and 4th period after the August 1st high. And that's exactly what we've got. So look what happened, that big spike yesterday. We were, we were short right at the exact top. So we got taken out to the penny. Yeah, but we're back again. We're back short. So essentially what I'm looking at is that this choppy pattern, I said, are we here? That was August the 1st. And remember, we had that big spike. So I said, are we here? And I put the question mark right here. So let me just get this. The date here was uh, the 28th of December. What's this here? This is the 28th of December. All right. That's a 20. So I've got this question mark right here, 28th of December. We made a fraction on the high after just a fraction of high, and then we pulled back, and then we had another spike yesterday, but we never took out that high. It's interesting that this thick gray line gives you a distorted view, but I love it because I'm using something else. So, so far, that nine period exponential moving average is still holding really well, and that's the reason why I say 
I think we're looking at a kind of a rolling over, a slow roll over, but it could be using time more than price. And let's just show you the SMH is the same thing here. Look at this, the SMH is. It, oh. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So let me just say, so it was getting out of, uh, we've just been stopped out by Penny and uh, for a profit in our short position of the Dow. We are back in there. And we still got the short position on the semiconductors. But here's something very interesting. 
Um, look at the 200 period moving average in the two, in the 10 minute chart at 47.73. That I think is going to be key today. Does that hold if there's another pullback? Do we have a bounce, strong bounce off that? Days young, anything can happen. So, quick question about Apple. What was the question? Uh, can I do Apple? So Apple, if you remember, a while back I typed in here, I said, I don't know if it's going to be accurate or not, but I'm typing in chat wave, unconventional flat base restart that says it should get back to the 188s. And then we went off on a tangent up. And we made a doji candle with a silent doji up just under 200. And here it is at 183, having hit 180. So that was a technique that we used to, to show you that, this, that that unconventional flat base restart really is a powerful medium. Meantime, back to the ranch, the day is young. I'm suspecting that we're in a very choppy period here, very selective. And I'm just going to say have a great rest of the day. I'll be back with Tom a little later on today.